Huh? Oh, we're just we're just taking a view of ants. scientist who studies ant navigation. Ants have to navigate mainly to find food. And they can travel really far. They can travel up to 300 feet from their nests. That doesn't sound like a lot to us humans, but that's the equivalent of us traveling 30 miles from our home. And they can travel that far and then make it back to their nest no problem. So how do they do that? And for that matter, how do any animals know where they are without a GPS? To answer this question, scientists have defined two main things that animals need to navigate. The first one is a compass, which helps animals know what direction they're supposed to be going. And the second is a map, so that animals know where they are relative to other things. With humans, when we use a GPS, both of those things are being used at once. The GPS tells us what direction to go, and also where we need to go relative to where we are now. For example, turning left at a certain street. But with animals, they use something different. And the main thing that they use is the electromagnetic field. Magnets are something that are super cool and something that we often use to put things on our fridge. But they're also relevant to animal navigation, including bird migration. Now to understand this, we need to understand some basic concepts about magnets. Every magnet has a north and a south pole. If you try to put two north poles of a magnet together, it's really hard to get them to touch. But if you flip one side of the magnet together, then they're attracted to each other. Look at that. And as it turns out, the Earth has a magnetic field that has a north and south pole as well. A compass takes advantage of this fact and lets people know where north and south are. It has a little magnet inside of it, and one of the sides of the magnets is attracted to the north pole, and the other side is attracted to the south pole. Therefore, the little arrow inside of the compass always points north. As it turns out, the animals, like birds, actually have magnetic metal inside of them, in birds' cases, inside of their beaks, so that they can also take advantage of the magnetic field of the Earth. Because they have this magnetic material, they can always know where north and south are, and they can use this to help guide them. As it turns out, even ants do this. Ants don't migrate the same way that birds do, and they don't travel thousands of miles. But when they're first learning how to navigate, they actually use the same magnetic field to figure out where their nest is. Ants, when they're very young, go on foraging runs where they first learn about what their surroundings look like. In general, they use their surroundings to navigate, but when they first start out, they don't know their surroundings very well. And so therefore, they use the magnetic field in order to know where their nest is relative to where they are because they're very small and their nest is relatively hard to see. So using the magnetic field, they're able to get home even if they don't know the landscape around them very well. Now let's talk about what animals use as a map. In ants, it's the landmarks that are around their nest that they use. Ants have a really good visual memory, but they're actually not very good at seeing. So. Even though they are able to remember what's around them, they can't see exact little like blades of grass or trees or anything to let them know where they are. So instead, what they do is that they remember thousands of images of the places that they've been. So if they're somewhere and they look around and they see uh, an image that they've seen before, then they'll know where they are and they'll be able to go back to their nest. This is very different from humans, who often use specific visual cues to guide us. To go back to the GPS example, one thing that we use is a street sign in order to know where we are. Since ants can't do that, then they have to use the entire visual field in order to navigate properly. Even though birds travel really far when they migrate, they actually use visual cues as well. 
but bird's eyesight is better, so they use specific visual cues, like humans do, to know where they are. For example, they may know that they're on the right migratory path because they pass a certain mountain. The final example that we will be talking about is sea turtles. Now, sea turtles are really cool because they use the same magnetic field that ants and birds do for a compass to know where they go, but they also use it as a map. Now, just as a refresher, a compass tells you the direction that you need to go, and a map tells you where you are relative to what it is. In creatures like birds and ants, they can use the magnetic field to point them in the right direction, but they can't use it to know where they need to go. But sea turtles can. As you may know, sea turtles travel thousands of miles to go back to the same nest they were born in once they're mature enough to hatch children of their own. In order to get back there, sea turtles use the magnetic field of the earth. They use it as a compass the same way that other animals do, pointing them in a certain direction. But also, they use the magnetic signatures of the places that they were born in order to get there. It turns out that shores, compared to the ocean, have certain magnetic signatures, and sea turtles can remember the magnetic signature of the place that they were born, and then go towards it once they're ready to lay eggs.